Hi, this is Jason Gideon, Energy Consultants Group, and I wanted to do a follow-up review on uh, this uh, Mercedes uh, Metris. Uh, you can check that out in my other video. Um, my only complaint that I had at the time, really about it, was its uh, low ground clearance. So um, I made the investment into a lift kit, uh, specifically made for this Metris, and uh, new tires, which are larger series tires. I didn't make a before video, but uh, apparently my microphone battery went dead about halfway through and I didn't realize it until the end. So I don't have any audio on that. So I'm just going to do a summary of the before and after measurement values that I did. Uh, so you can kind of understand uh, what, the, uh, what the differences are. And it actually made a quite a large improvement. So the first thing was, was that uh, the rear where it was sagging. Um, so I had about a one degree slope from front to back um, and uh, the ground clearance is quite low uh, both in the front and the back. Uh, on this one here I have a hitch so the measurement from the lowest point of the hitch here down to the ground uh, was before we did the um, improvements was six inches, now it's 10 inches. So that was a, a really good improvement for that. The slope now is actually two degrees to the front, so sloping towards the front, so a lot more level. Um, and I haven't done a trailer yet on it, but I suspect that's gonna uh, be a better uh, setup as well uh, than before. Then I took a measurement from back here, from the lowest part of the rear suspension, from here down to the ground. And uh, before that was uh, eight inches, now it is 11 inches. I did the same thing here, just as a reference point from, from the frame down to the ground and before it was eight inches and now it's 10 inches uh, up front. And then up here, I took a measurement from the lowest point of the brush guard. You can see right there, the bracket there that ties it back to the frame down to the ground. That was five inches and now it's seven. And then if you don't have a brush guard, then from the bumper down to the ground was uh, 10 inches and now it's 12 inches. So a pretty big improvement. Now, the way we accomplished this was a little aluminum spacer that was installed on the strut tower. And then we went to one series larger tires, which did not change, um, didn't have to change any of the computer stuff, get that anything updated. This is actually a, a available size right from the factory. It just was not a size uh, that was on when I bought it. So it worked out pretty good. So we picked up another inch of clearance with that. And we don't have any issues with clearance with the wheels hitting the inside of the wheel wells or anything else like that. Now before I had from the top of the uh, wheel well to the top of the tire, uh, for the front I had three inches of wheel well space and now I have four. So that worked out good. Pretty much the same deal in the back, but uh, in the back um, I had three inches from here to here and now I have five. So, um, like I said, and now we got this good slope going towards the front. Um, and uh, this was a spacer that was put on uh, the rear spring as well, which was built of aluminum. So it's not an air, air ray suspension. It's very simple. And it looks like it's uh, doing its uh, job. I did drive it back uh, from the place that we got all the modifications from. Uh, about 35 miles. Did not feel any different whatsoever. No more road noise, um, either coming from the tires or from the lift kit. Uh, like I said, it didn't handle different, but I could feel that I was higher off of the ground. Um, actually, it felt a little bit stiffer in the rear, 
Um, so um, a little bit more uh, stable. So, uh, so far I'm quite impressed. So with the tires and a lift kit, I think it's about $1,800. Obviously when you take apart your suspension, you gotta get alignment. So obviously the cost is uh, included in that. Um, and what we put on here uh, were uh, Yokohamas. And uh, just for uh, reference, that what we would put on was 225-65 R17 uh, versus before I had a 225-55 R17. Um, so it worked out pretty good. So if you're looking to get more ground clearance out of your Metris, I mean, I know you don't have a reference from before, but um, it was quite, quite low. Um, I'll see if I can get a picture um, uploaded to this video as well. I do have a before picture and um, I give you a frame of reference, but if you're looking to get more ground clearance and not get into a whole lot of work or money uh, with it, uh, this is uh, apparently a very good solution to be able to do that with. So hope you like this uh, informational video and if you want to get any more information on my review about the uh, Mercedes Metris, as it really specifically pertains to a cargo van, not as a passenger vehicle, um, then you can look at my other uh, video and uh, get more information about that. Thanks, bye.